Another reminder of this uncertain world. There is a worldwide alert that Al-Qaeda is looking for a moment to strike. Today, the State Department issuing an alert warning Americans overseas that a plot is underway. But are there specific targets and what should Americans do? ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz tracking all the latest developments for us tonight. Martha. Diane, today's global travel alert comes as the State Department is preparing to shut down more than 20 embassies and consulates, the most to be closed since 9-11. A terrible reminder for Americans that we are still major targets. The worldwide warning is alarming and unusually broad. It covers travel for Americans across the globe and cautions travelers to be especially wary of tourist sites and public transportation. Also unusual, the warning will stay in effect until the end of August. Terrorists, the bulletin says, may use a variety of means and weapons and target both official and private interests. We spoke today exclusively to the chairman of the Joint Chiefs for ABC's This Week. It is an al-Qaeda, an affiliated threat, yeah. So it is of the, of the al-Qaeda branch. Is the threat to blow up an embassy, a consulate, or something else? That part of it is unspecified, but the intent seems clear. And the intent is to what? The intent is to attack uh, Western, not just U.S. interests. A senior U.S. official telling ABC News that this is an active plot coming from Yemen, where the so-called underwear bomber got his training and where radical American cleric Anwar al-Awlaki directed terrorist attacks until he was killed in a drone strike two years ago. But there is a new boss now, Nasser al-Wahashi, now the coordinator of worldwide attack planning. Intelligence showed this latest plot could involve multiple targets, both inside and outside Yemen. Thus, the long list of embassy closures across the Muslim world. This after billions of dollars in security measures that can stop a truck and protect from blasts. Today's warnings clearly fall out from the deadly attack on the mission in Benghazi. Since then, 151 new diplomatic security positions have been approved. 1,000 additional Marines for embassy security, although not yet in place. And more than 500 Marines and soldiers now part of a quick reaction force to respond to attacks in Africa. Tonight, officials are hoping that closing down these facilities and improving security in the region will avert an attack. But, Diane, there is no certainty that will work. Martha, what does the Defense Department advise families who already have friends and family members traveling? Well, I think, frankly, you just have to be extra vigilant in public, steer clear of local events like demonstrations. And there's also something called smart traveler enrollment, where you sign up to get emails and texts about security advisories. There's actually an app you can get for your smartphone. Advising you of additional details as they develop, right? Exactly what it does. All right, Martha Raditz, who will be standing sentry on all of this for us throughout this night. Thank you, Martha.